Hey Canucks fans, Jack Rathbone is now officially a Vancouver Canuck. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the JLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take on one take, it's Clay's Canucks commentary for Tuesday, July the 14th. This is where you get Canucks insight that's positive and timely. Well, how's this for positive and timely? Just a few minutes ago, it was announced that the Vancouver Canucks have signed 2017 draft pick Jack Rathbone to a three-year entry-level contract. And it's very, very good news for the Vancouver Canucks uh, for many, many reasons. And I'll, I'll go through a few of them right now very quickly. You can tell I'm very excited. This is my second video of the day. I have to run to a meeting, but I want to record this first because it is such good news. Number one, the deadline to sign these type of players, players that you could sign to entry-level deals, yet have them burn a year of this year's contract, which I'll get to in a second. I mean, a year of their three-year uh, contract, was tomorrow at 11 p.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern. So it, the signing window opened yesterday, so right, basically right in the middle of it, with a day to spare, the Canucks indeed signed Jack Rathbone. It's important because with this three-year deal, it does burn a year off of his contract this year, even though he can't play for the Vancouver Canucks in the postseason. What it does is it burns a year, so this contract actually expires in 21-22, not 22-23, and thus it gets Rathbone to his second contract, a more higher paying contract one year earlier. And that's the, one of the many incentives for Rathbone, aside from trying to make the team, which I'll get to in a second. So Rathbone burns a year of his three year deal, so he'll become, uh, he'll be eligible for a second contract in at the end of the 2021, 2022 season. So that's very important to note. So important to note, um, the de they beat the deadline by a day. Important to note that it burns one, his first year of the three years. What's also important to note is if they did not um, sign him within these uh, this this three day window. They could have signed him any time, but they wouldn't be able to then uh, you know burn that first year. But then if we got to August 15 of next year, he would because of his status, he would actually become a UFA again, uh, and then the Canucks would basically have to fight with other teams to sign him. And you didn't want to lose a player like Jack Rathbone for nothing. So that's another great reason why it was a, it was a good signing today. Why it's good news, but most importantly. He's a good player. He's played two years at Harvard, almost a point per game player. In fact, in two seasons, he had 53 points in 61 games. And he's got pretty good size. Uh, not, he's not massive, but he's 5'11", 190 pounds though. And he, um, he's a good skater. He's not like Quinn Hughes good skater, but he is a very good skater. He's good at both ends of the rink. Offense, he's got some good offensive instincts. He plays well defensively. He plays hard defensively. He can move the puck. He can skate with the puck. And, he, and as Jim Benning said, he's got an edge to his game a little bit. So he's a good player. And despite, you know, being drafted a little bit lower, you know, we drafted him in, in the third round, actually make it that fourth round in the 2017 draft. And then he played two years at Harvard um, after taking a, a one more year to play an extra year of prep school. Um, yeah, the Canucks drafted him out of high school, basically. This is still exciting news because he is, uh, he's going to be a great player. Uh, potentially another one of those mid to late rounder steals, NCAA type guys, you know, guys like Gaudet and, and others that we've, we've drafted a little lower. But he has a chance, a legitimate chance of making the team next season. On the left side, you know, you have Hughes and Edler, but that third spot that was split between Ben and Fantenberg last year, that could be his for the taking. You, you could all even argue that he might be even uh, further ahead than Ole Ulevi, we'll see. On the right side, we know there's all these questions after Myers, is it gonna be Tanev, is it gonna be Stetcher, is it gonna be Rafferty, but that's the right side. On the left side, Rathbone will have a legitimate shot of making the team as the third pairing D-man. And then that, you know, the sooner he gets in the, and if he doesn't, Utica's fine too, obviously, as a pro, but the sooner he gets in the lineup, the more we can move towards a, a one-two punch on the left side of Hughes and Rathbone down the road. Now, I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. Again, he was a fourth round pick, so it's not like he was a first round or seventh overall like Quinn Hughes, but there's enough to his game that people in the Canucks organization like him, people throughout the NHL like him, and this is a really, really good signing, not only because of how good of a player he may turn out to be, how he gets a shot to play next year, how he gets a burn a year of his three-year contract, but also because we don't have to worry now about him walking to free agency uh, uh, you know, at the end of next summer. And Rathbone and his family and his advisors, they held their cards pretty close to their chest, as I've mentioned a couple times this week, but for good reason. He wanted to make sure he made a good decision, 
Sounds like a very smart guy, right? He was going to Harvard, obviously he's pretty smart. And I'm sure he wanted to make a decision that made a lot of sense, really weigh out all his options. But as soon as Harvard said they're not gonna have, uh, you know, sports until the end of this, this calendar year at least, probably extending to next year, that likely meant one season of no hockey for him. And I, sh I think making some money with the Vancouver Canucks and being instilled in their organization um, uh, earlier sounded a lot more appealing than say, playing in Europe. So, good news all around, Jack Rathbone, our fourth round pick in the 2017 NHL entry draft is now officially a Vancouver Canuck. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I love to hear your reaction. The question of the day is how excited are you and what do you think his ceiling might be? I know it's a little early to project given that he hasn't even stepped on the ice yet, but I'm in a good mood. I hope you are too because this is one less thing we have to worry about. Another feel good story as Canucks training camp ramps up. To, uh, day two finished today. No big surprises, but I'll get into that tomorrow. For now, let's talk about Jack Rathbone in the comments below. Um, yeah, leave a comment. I'd like to read, react, and reply. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canesco.